In many communities and cities throughout the United States, public safety has been shown to be the number one concern. Boynton Beach Fire Rescue is on a mission to continue to save lives with the best services and state-of-the-art equipment, but it will come at a price for property owners. The fire chief spoke with our Luli Ortiz. Like for every first responder, saving lives is a top priority. And for Boynton Beach Fire Rescue, they want to continue that daily mission with the best tools and services. You have this fine balance. But as Fire Chief Hugh Bruder tells CBS 12 News, it does require a financial investment from the city's homeowners. Part of a proposed fire assessment fee, a $145 cost annually per property owner. That fee is already set at $120, so they're talking $25 more per year. That money would help pay for things like training more firefighters with brand new equipment and even rebuilding an old fire station near Gateway Boulevard. Unfortunately, when you get a building that's over 40 years old, you have a lot of issues. So we've had water leaks and we did have some mold that was eradicated. And thank goodness the city's done a great job of making sure that our firefighters are safe. But a 40-year-old fire station needs to be replaced. Homeowners would also help the agency purchase a special alert system. This new station recall system will allow us to shave as much as 60 seconds off of a response. And now, it, it, you know as well as I do that when someone's having a heart attack or a stroke, that 60 seconds can be the difference between life and death. And those divers and paramedics we often see riding jet skis while responding to emergency calls on the water, he says they need a place to keep their ocean rescue equipment close to the inlet. That money would renovate a complex at Harvey Oyer Park to keep the fire boats and firefighters and paramedics there 24-7. We had this gentleman uh, a couple months ago who, who perished outside of the Boynton Beach Inlet. I know that if we would have been able to get to him sooner, we would have been able to make a difference. According to the chief, the new complex would help first responders get to the water easier and faster. Of course, the simple fix costs money, but these are infrastructure changes that we need even just to bring our fire Fire department to where we should be. And the city commission here will vote on this fee over the course of two meetings. The first one will take place next Tuesday, September 3rd. And of course, the public is invited to provide their input. In Boynton Beach, I'm Lily Ortiz, CBS 12 News. I'm Jim Grimes. Click like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.